Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 485. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. Uh, a bit late due to reasons. I'll explain it near the end. So let's hop right in. So, first up is new Quantum Store E Generation 5 XR MLP, a new generation kit appears. That was a f- mouthful. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, no, then that title isn't misspelled. Good to know, Sivisto. A company called Quantum Story has unveil, unveiled a new, a brand new My Little Pony, a new generation movie experience with a hybrid between traditional print book, activity pages, XR goggles, and your phone. Turn the entire story line into an interactive adventure for kids. If that sounds complex to you, it's pretty simple if you take a look at the video they posted over on Vimeo. Okay, so uh, head down below to check out the link. The kit retails on their website for $35. So I've seen the video prior to this and... um. <coughs> How how do I put this? Um, it's very interesting. Um, uh, you guys should check out the video beforehand. But I'm going to summarize what I've seen and my thoughts on it. It's interesting. Um, they use. Uh, give me a second to process my words here. Okay. Um, what they essentially done is that they use. Uh virtual reality uh, and also augmented reality in their um, app to create this uh, virtual world. Um, so um, you you get a book, you take a look at the book, and then um, you hover your phone over it, and then uh, it pops like uh, easy or the characters out. And then uh, you can do activity books with it. Uh, color stuff or um, what's what's that game called? Um, uh, uh, follow the dotted line or something like that. So uh, essentially, what you'll be doing is all that and have a lot of activities. And one of the cool cool features is that um, it's it's not retelling, but it's their way of sorry. It's yeah, it's their way of telling you the story of a new generation in this format. Um, the goggles itself, uh, you slide in your phone and you can be in the um, un- Pony universe. One of the good examples that they did was uh, that prison scene in the new generation where uh, Sunny and Easy got, uh, what you call this, got captured and put into jail and that's one of the examples of the scene that they showed you. Um, you can put on the goggles and you are in prison. That's, that, that sounds strange. But yes, you are in prison. So you take a look around and you get to see um, Sunny relaxing on the chair and so on. I mean, it's really fun. Like The idea, the concept is really, really fun. Uh, there's also activity books. So yeah, it's it's one of those interesting things that it's hard to explain. Especially for me that I don't have it, so I can't really say how good or bad it is. But it's really interesting. Um, now for... <clears throat> how do I put this? Now for the skeptic in me. It's, it's, it's not a bad device. It's, it's really cool, but how good of a quality is this? Because um, VR goggles, like especially phone-mounted VR goggles, you can get them for cheap on um, eBay or Amazon or wherever it is that you buy your stuff online. Uh, I got mine for 10 ringgit local. Or was it 20 ringgit? So if you do the conversion, that would be half a quarter of that. Maybe under $10 probably you can get it for a decent version. Or if you want to have a high-end version, a better version of just a box with this, Google Cardboard exists. 
So the the goggles is questionable, but what the thirty five dollars uh, gives you is besides the goggles is the book and the app. So those are the things that cost money, R and D, and all that stuff, and. I, I I haven't played with it yet, so I got no idea how good or bad it is. And judging by the goggles, they kind of retract and extend to um <clears throat> to uh, make it easier to um keep and whatnot. So that's something interesting too. But overall, uh, this this seems fun. This seems fun. I'm not hundred percent sure how good is this for the eyes because. Um, one of the few things that you do, like, it, it's it's one of those things where, is it safe for kids and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. I mean, some people might have sickness and whatnot, but it's it's one of those things where I do like the effort, but we'll see how this goes later on when, um, well, when, the product is out and then let's see what else they can do with it because to me this is just a money grab like oh cool uh bronies are a big fan of this so they're gonna buy it and whatnot or maybe kids who like ponies but what's after that like can you buy any other stories books or whatsoever because yeah uh, getting the essential kit is great but what happened if i want to by a follow-up story or maybe i want to i see the boss baby or the trolls maybe i want to just buy the book for those is that available yeah so we i'll i'll, I'll hold my um excitement for a bit because gimmicks like this are mm, just so so for me so let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is oh my god uh, Netflix removing my little sorry. Um, Netflix removing Friendship is Magic on January thirty first, twenty twenty two. A few different Netflix tracking website are showing Friendship is Magic in with a group of other things being removed from Netflix on the thirty first of January, twenty twenty two. This follows the Equestria Girls and the Best Gift Ever Holiday Special. Set of uh, set for the thirty first of this month, December, twenty twenty one. Previously, removals in the last year haven't been uh, re- v- revised by updated uh, contracts with Hasbro, so it looks like this might be it for. Uh, this might be it for. Uh, this might be it. For it, this might be it for it unless they swoop in for an extension. Hopefully, you'll all build archives for the episode by now. I know it's one of the first thing I did when we first reported the best gift ever getting X. Alright, alright. This is one of those sad stories where... Um, access to Friendship is Magic, uh, which is a pretty awesome show, getting X from, well, one of the streaming sites. Uh, if you are a fan just getting in, Netflix is usually the best place to go watch it. So you can um, technically go watch from season 1 to season 9, uh, catch up on all the stuff that the fandoms have been uh, clamoring about. But... With the removal of the show to next year, I'm just thinking, like, are there any alternatives to getting back the show? Or are there any alternatives to watch the show? Um, I do know that there's a box set DVD, but I'm not 100% sure until which season and how officially legit they are. Um, if you're in the state side, probably some of them are, sorry, most of them are legit. Over here in Malaysia, it's questionable. <clears throat> There's also the option of watching it on iTunes, but yeah, I I think you can buy it on iTunes or you can 
uh, have a subscription and just watch it like how Netflix is. But do you really want to get another subscription just to... Uh, it, it's one of those things where Hasbro, the fans want an official outlet to buy one of their favorite shows. And if I'm not mistaken, a season 9 is not on DVD yet. So getting the full series or getting the full set for the series is not easy. So yeah, I mean, like Sephisto said, <coughs> if you have a way to archive it, go do so. I'm not promoting privacy or anything like that. I'm just saying that if you have a chance to archive it, go do so. Probably buy on official DVDs and so on. So yeah, this is a bummer. This is a bummer. But I do understand why, because they want to try and promote the new stuff. And in all honesty, I, I felt this. I felt this recently. Um, I went to Toys R Us and other toy stores just to, you know, look for a G4 stuff, like G4 Plush. Um, I was in a Magic the Gathering Commander League and I played Rarity. And I wanted to get a Rainbow Dash plushie because carrying a plushie around would be much easier rather than carrying a Funko vinyl. Um, they didn't sell it anymore and I had to carry my vinyls. Yes. So, um, that's besides the point. But the point of the matter is, went to Toys R Us, couldn't find any traditional plush. So, um, what I did notice was they're starting to pile up the new generation and slowly um, pushing or slowly not selling G4 stuff. Uh, the stuff that I think Toys R Us are, ha have overstocked are there, but plush and whatnot, they're totally gone. Totally gone. So let's move on to the last news for the week. This one is pretty recent. Uh, hmm. New Sailor Moon meets Cutie Mark Crusaders crossover hit Japan. That statement there is wrong, but I'll explain it later. Uh, the big name for the old school Sailor Moon anime has apparently joined up for an Equestria Girl collab design, the Cutie Mark Crusaders as Sailor Scouts in new merchandise line. Uh, right below, blah blah blah. Um, Seth got it wrong because... Uh, I think somebody down here um, explained it. Yes, um, Miles. This isn't an official collab with Sailor Moon. It's just drawn and designed... Uh, sorry, it's just drawn by a designer who worked on Sailor Moon and Precure. Uh, they're just wearing standard Japanese Sailor Foku uniform. Uh, not much else to do with Sailor Moon other than the person who drew it. So, yeah... Okay, so, let's see. Let, let's go to the website, yeah. Let's go to the website. Um, so, give me a second to process all this thing. Because I haven't gone through... Yeah, I, I remember them. I remember them. This, this were... This was... Yeah, i seen this before. Okay, um, so yes. Um, nothing to do with Sailor Moon. It's just the person who drew it. So that's really cool. And what you get is acrylic figure. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Um, what you can get is this. What is this, you ask? Oh, they say it's acrylic figure. It's about a thousand and ninety mm, seventy plus ringgit. Um, that would cost you probably about fifteen bucks, probably. So okay. Um, you guys are wondering what are these acrylic figures? Um, I think I've told you this before, but acrylic figures are something similar to this. Oh no, the lighting's bad and the. Focus is just, you know what, I'm going to zoom in for this bit. Okay, it's something like this. It's, this is what they call an acrylic figure. Um, it, 
it looks simple you just put it on your desk and whatnot and the zoom is going to destroy this so yeah um basically a instead of a um figure something to akin to this you'll get this instead and um i say this is kind of cute this this is pretty cool sorry for the shy. i'm gonna put it back here for a bit <clears throat> now back to the news yes so you get um three different acrylic figures from sweetie bell apple bloom and scootaloo and they all have their huh are they th th those are their cutie marks but huh is there any way to zoom in oh cool 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 so yeah um it's supposedly their cutie marks but not really because we know how their cutie mark looks like but yeah uh, sweetie bell has a star and a musical note uh, I think her Kirma has that, and this is her Equestria Girl version, so it's not going to be 100% the same. For Apple Bloom, you'll get... Yep, um, yeah, she, she has her Kirma mark here. Um, looks all similar. And yeah, Scootaloo, it's the same too, so... Um, uh, give me a second, guys. Like, I am all over the place because I am trying to process stuff. Yeah, so, the cutie marks... I, I, I think it's just one of those artistic merits where they try to make things pop out a bit more. Um, personally, for me, I like Apple Bloom because it's of, uh, it has her um, pony version of her cutie mark, while the rest of the other two were drawn differently... To me, I feel like it's a missed opportunity to use the official ones. That's me. Uh, and then, okay, um, there's acrylic figures, there's t-shirts, um, black t-shirts. I do wonder if they sell it in other colors. No, just black. I do wonder why. And um, you get, what's this? You get the full set. You get the acrylic, uh, a poster. Um, you get pins. I think this is a pin. I mean, uh, let's just say acrylic figure post. That is a, um, a w not binder, but what what do you call? Um, you put in paper in there on all your whatever you want to do. Um, trapper keeper, probably. Um, so pins and whatever it is, and yeah, this comes for the whole set. Oh man, or if you want individual, you can just get the girls and so on. And yeah, uh, we talked about this before. Hmm. But yeah, um, the cool thing is that one of the artists who drew Sailor Moon, I'm not 100% sure if it's the original artist that drew Sailor Moon, or it's one of the newer ones that drew um, Sailor Moon. But um, this is news that we've dealt before in the past. So with that, <coughs> news over, and let's head into the next topic. What have I been doing in my week? Okay, um, if you're wondering, last week there were no news because, well, um, the news came in pretty late, like uh, really, really late. Uh, it only appeared about a few, I, I, I think, what, last week we didn't have news. And then, uh, coming to this week, we had some. And the only reason why you're getting it now is because I was pretty busy with my um, daily life. Um, <clears throat> a few things I need to explain or break down is that... Um, uh, let's see, this was supposed to be... Um, okay, so, uh, on this Saturday, um, well, technically, Friday and Saturday, if you didn't know, I have a Dungeons & Dragons session. So those two are kind of eating up my time most of the time. So yeah, I've um, been pretty busy over there. So usually I'll try to record it on a Sunday if there's nothing uh, eating up my time. So for this week, yes, had um, four events on the weekend. Um, 
the Magic the Gathering Commander League that I have or that I participated in using the Rarity deck. One that game was pretty fun. It was It was insanely fun. <clears throat> uh, and on the Friday, had my last session for the season with this uh, for, for that campaign. And on the Saturday, I had another campaign with another group. That one is still going. Um, the next one would be on the Saturday, which is Christmas. Which I told my group that, you know, it's much better if we take a break on that day. Because it's Christmas. And we want to spend time with the family and whatnot. Also, it's Christmas. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, those are the four things that kept me busy. But also on the Saturday itself... Um, if I'm not mistaken, I've told you guys that I was a first-time dungeon master. So, it was a fun experience. Um, it was my first time doing it, uh, telling a story and so on. It was really cool. It was really, really cool. And the place that I had too was really awesome. They constructed their own stories, which I um, played into... Uh, kind of uh, this uh, I, I had a um, well to be honest the, the characters were um, picked from the pre-made character sheets but I told them that they can change the name change the race so it was you know just for the fun of it just for the fun of it because the players could role play what they really want and not be bothered by um, doing stats for the characters and what not I mean it's their game, I'm just the referee. So, one, one wanted to become a, a male Dragonborn fighter. Uh, the official name was Grim, but they changed it to Crimson. So, okay, it's all cool. <coughs> the other was um, a cleric, a female cleric, but the official one, uh, sorry, the official character sheet stated that uh, they were a female half half elf, but my player wanted to become a female half orc. So yeah, it's all good. It's all good, and it was it was really fun. It was really fun, and also we had another one who was really new to the game, got no idea what D and D is, but found it really exciting. Uh, she played a half elf monk, and uh man, that, that was a really awesome game. Um, to follow a manual and um, you know in hindsight I should have tried to add in a bit more spice and whatnot just so the game would be very fun and memorable but I, I felt like it was fun it was fun the players had a lot of fun I had a lot of fun too DMing and overall it was kind of cool I, I do like what um, sorry I, I do like what this how this feels because um, essentially, I am telling a story every week to you guys um, in the format of a news. Um, if I had the chance to tell you in something original or something pre-written, that would be cool too. And I think that comes from... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think that comes from me doing the episode uh, news and episode reviews, where uh, in the episode review, I kind of summarize things down and try to... Um, explain certain motivations and stuff. So it it feels kind of fun. Like for me, I I do enjoy the experience of doing all of this. This is just really awesome. So will I do it again? Probably. Um, just need to find a group and whatnot and brush up on the rules because one of the few things that I found out about my own weaknesses is that I am not. Uh, how do I put this? I'm not really well versed on the rules of Dungeons and Dragons yet. Uh, granted, there is a lot of resource to look over to kind of uh, hide the flaw that I have. But overall, it's just fun. It's really fun. <coughs> so, um, let's wrap things up, I guess. Uh, oh, um, another thing I did also on the Wednesday was go watch Spider Man Far From. No Way Home? Yeah, the new Spooderman. 
Yes, that's what I did. I, I watched the new Spooderman in theaters. It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it. I, I think what one of my Patreon members must have lagged also watched it and we had a we had a little discussion. Uh and one of the few things that we agreed upon was spoiler, 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 spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Probably uh, we'll do something with that. I, I do have to ask Silver if he's willing to do the end of the year movie thing. Oh man, I wish we can do it because 2021 has been kind of a roller coaster of do you want to watch a movie? No, you can't. Movie theaters close. Also, the pandemic has caused a lot of things to not open. And also, if you want to watch movies, you can do it at home. So. I'll I'll have to reconsider things because there were a lot of movies that came out that I really enjoy, and I also need to list them down because last the past few years I was able to do that, but now I maybe I dropped the ball and not really pay attention. But anywho, <clears throat> um, that's besides the point. So let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themistergmail dot com. Also, you can reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBF Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Um, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon and stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, if you would like to, sorry, if you would please do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Totera. Silver Quill, sometimes Silver Quill, he's a bit busy, uh, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movie specials, and more. And those are the things, th- those more things are um, animes, comics, cartoons, video games, and movies, and whatever tickles our interest. So yeah, um, <clears throat> do subscribe there to listening to movie talks and whatnot. Um, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank uh, Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, and Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Seriously, you guys are the best. And thank you for all the support. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys Next week, maybe not next week. It's kind of the holidays. Maybe I'll take a week off. Maybe, probably, I don't know. Can't promise you anything. If we do appear next week on your feed, that's awesome. If not, have an awesome holiday. See ya.